doing a quick little unboxing video for you guys today. Um, I got my clutch master cylinder in from Magnus. I uh, ordered this through a Canadian company for a change, which is awesome because up here in Canada it's really hard to get parts. And uh, for me, uh, getting parts from a Canadian company is like awesome because a we're you know means that there's progress of you know the car community moving up here to Canada, which is great. Um, it's been here for quite some time, but nobody's ever really been able to do like part sourcing for an affordable cost up here in Canada. There's been companies before, but they, they would always list in like American dollars or uh, they wouldn't list that it, that it is in American and the, the prices would be low. So they get you in, in the door talking to them about parts and all of a sudden they're like, oh, well, actually it's not Canadian dollars, it's US dollars. So up goes the price right away. So that's kind of a huge negative for me. And then they're like, oh, well, we do free shipping. It's like, cool, sweet, let's do it. And they're like, all right, well, where are you? And they're like, oh, we're in Nova Scotia. And they're like, oh, well, actually, we only ship to the States for free, even though it's fucking farther. And it drives me nuts. I hate it. And like, I've never worked with that kind of a company where they're based out of Canada. They pride themselves with being based out of Canada. They do all that hoopla. And then they go and they say, oh, well, actually, we don't cater to Canadians whatsoever. Sorry. And it's like, no, I'm not going to deal with a company like that. And that's why this is hugely refreshing, refreshing, but, um, to find these guys. So I originally learned of these guys through a friend of mine on social media here for a local evil community. And he, he introduced me, oh my God, to Ryan. There we go. I've been having such a hard time remembering his name for this video. Um, he introduced me to Ryan and he said, give him a shout. Um, cause originally there was a few people looking for uh, clutch master cylinders for the Evo because while well, they fail uh, regularly I guess and uh, I've been lucky where mine's held up through my first clutch and this aftermarket clutch that I've installed normally with an aftermarket clutch install your clutch master cylinder is like on the outs like right away it can't handle the extra pressure but um, I guess uh, the clutch master cylinder will fail in regular operation and in uh, like racing applications like obviously more so in racing applications because there's a lot more uh, clutch work going on uh, so there's a lot more stress on that cylinder itself so luckily well I don't race my Evo or anything like that and I really don't beat on it too hard uh, if anything it'd be like a couple shifts going down the highway as I'm merging on kind of thing everybody gets got to get up to that highway speed as fast as possible kind of thing so uh, at most that's kind of what I do for my Evo uh, so I've been lucky, but I didn't want to, you know, put all my eggs in one basket and then all of a sudden need it one day and be like, I don't have the part. So I got the part and now I have it and I'm probably don't know if I'm going to install it right away just because like I'm deploying in, you know, like 70 days or something like that. But, um, I'll probably try and get it in while I'm deployed. So when I come back, it's ready. It's good to go. Um, so I want to just give a huge shout out right away to uh, Velocity, whoops, sorry, <laughs> throwing it around, uh, Velocity Racing Performance, and uh, specifically Ryan, he was the one that I dealt with. Uh, Velocity has been around since about 2016 from what I could see online. Uh, they're, you can find them on Facebook or Instagram under the same thing, just VelocityRacingPerformance.com. Uh, and these guys were super fair like I messaged them and he messaged back pretty well right away like there is a time difference between here and Ontario of a couple of hours. Yeah, so he messaged back like right away. He never left me hanging kind of thing. Uh, and he was like, yeah, man, like, yeah, we carry this. Um, and you get everything and any questions that I had, he just answered them right away. And I asked him if this would kind of help with the problems that I'm having. Uh, and he's like, yeah, but it'll also do this to you. So he gave me the negative too, which a lot of suppliers will just be like, yeah, man, it's going to fix everything. It's going to be great. Do it, buy it, buy all the things. Oh, I can also recommend doing this. And it's like, no. They didn't uh, try and upsell or anything like that. They got me exactly what I wanted and made sure that I was making a good decision, which was really cool, really refreshing. So um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little brief overview of kind of like velocity. So these guys here, they have the, the claim for the first 2JZ engine to have a thousand wheel horsepower going to the uh, rear wheels uh, in Canada, not in the States, obviously, because America, but um, in Canada, they're the first 1000 horsepower. So uh, they originally started with a shop for like uh, doing engine builds and stuff like that, like walk-ins, like, hey, can you do this? Uh, they still do do that, but they uh, kind of stepped back from that and went into part supply more, which I think is really a good idea because honestly, there is no one that's 
supplying parts to Canada for an affordable price, which is a huge market up here in Canada. Like we are constantly forced to buy from the States and constantly forced to just get pillaged at the border by customs or from the Canadian to the American dollar. So I'd be much rather, I mean, I'd be much happier buying a part in a Canadian for a higher price that's already just there and it's none of this like, oh, it's only $150, US. <laughs> and then you buy it and you're like, oh, what the frig, like price went up kind of thing. Like you want, I want the price that I'm gonna pay on the site right there. And then like shipping, sure, tack a couple bucks on the end of it. None of this like garbage, like, oh, huh. Well, we're going to surprise you with the customs bill at the end or you need to pay this bill in order to release it from customs in order for you to get the part you don't have to deal with any of this stuff which is sweet so uh these guys can get you uh, any like parts or parts is what uh, ryan had said he's like we can get you anything kind of thing but they specialize in 2jz 7m and 7m for toyota they got the for mitsubishi they got the 4g63 and the 4b11t that they specialize in and for Nissan, they got the, I got them written down here because I'm not going to remember all of them. It's just a tongue twister. The R, the RB, the VR, the SR, and the VQ. Not 100% sure what all the engines are. I've never really looked into all those different engines for Nissan, but RB, obviously, for the uh, Skyline. Um, yeah, so they can get anything for you, uh, but those are their specializations. And like I said, they still do custom builds for their engines, which is kind of nice. So you can go in. You have a venue to go in for their shop and get their get your vehicle built. Uh, so I strongly suggest that you guys go and check them out there. Uh, they have a site, but you can go on Facebook and you can talk to guys like Ryan that'll help you out 100% right away. Just any questions, they're willing to answer it for you, and they'll. I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can come up with. Where they are still a new company, so they are still growing, and I'm super happy putting out somebody's name that's growing and they're. I'll call them local, but they're Canadian and they're, they're looking like they're doing some good work. So I'm definitely giving them a, a thumbs up for this. I got the part, I was talking to him, he answered all my questions. He's like, yeah, so it's gonna be this. And if you want this kind of shipping, like four to five day shipping, it's 15 bucks. And uh, if you want next day delivery, it's 30. So like, cool, next day. I don't know why, but I did it. And uh, they were kind enough to hook me up with a shirt. I don't know if they're just doing that for everybody or if they just thought I was cute. I'm not sure. Yeah, so the shirt fits nice and got me a decal and they got me the part. So we're going to go over and do an unboxing review for you guys and we'll see what you guys think. All right, guys. So here's the uh, box that I got from uh, Velocity. Um, it did come in another package. Uh, it just came in like a, a bag kind of thing uh, with extra padding. So I cut the tape for laminar flow of this video. All right, that's a lot of paper. I assume that's the clutch master cylinder. It's Magnus, since 1996. It kind of makes me uh, feel a little bad that I'm older than some of these things, which is kind of bad. Oh dear, regrets. There we go. So we got some decals. We got the, it looks like an oil supply line. Little banjo bolts here. Yeah. I'm gonna try and keep it in the camera. This is the first time I've actually kind of used the camera in such a fashion. So we got here. We got a mounting plate. Cool. Very cool. Mounting bolts. What? <clears throat> what else we got here? Just a wrap of a tube of bubble wrap. That's all we have. What do we have here? What is this? Oh my god. Insert meme of Spongebob saying one year later. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. There it is. Done. So there, there it is. All that for you. Isn't that a bitch? Clyde, 
please don't play in the garbage. Yeah. So I would say their packaging, um, I'm not sure how Magnus exactly uh, would supply it to them. I assume it came in this package there. Um, I mean, it seems legit kind of thing. Like, can't mistake that. I don't know. Maybe I would say uh, a little bit more legitimate of a packaging uh, scheme. But uh, everything's in here from what I can tell. The only thing that I don't like uh, whenever I order stuff online and I don't see, uh, like, a parts list. It's kind of just like, yeah, I got the kit, I think, maybe. <laughs> so that's one thing that I'd uh, kind of be concerned about just ordering. But I trust these guys. I don't have any uh, doubts that they didn't give me, a, you know, the legit part or if I'm missing any bits. Uh, but I will be definitely looking up to see how I can install this and whether or not I'm going to do it or not just because I don't want to mess it up I would much rather be able to take it back to a shop and be like hey it broke help me fix it instead of me do it break it and then be like hey guess what you're SOL so yeah that's about it guys Magnus clutch master cylinder for Evo X that's the uh, Evo 8 and 9 uh, aluminum bodied one so it replaces the plastic interior as fitted on OEM Mitsubishi Evo. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any new videos coming up. Huge shout out to Ryan from Velocity. You'll definitely be hearing from me some more for any more parts that I'm going to be ordering because I'm pretty sure you guys kind of got me hooked. So thanks a lot for the shipment. Quick, easy, hugely recommend these guys. Thanks a lot guys.